Hey guys, we are packing again, but we are not going back home yet. This is for another short trip, one day or two, to another city along the coast. This one is a proper, proper medium-sized city, not a ghost city like this one is. Because guess what? Although this place is quiet and beautiful and things are cheap, it has all the good things about it. But it is not the ideal place for the kind of life after retirement that my parents have in mind. They want a place not only close to the beach, have a good environment, but also have all those amenities that a city life provides. So we are looking for an opportunity to possibly sell this one and exchange it for another property in that medium-sized city. So we plan to spend about one night over there and looking at seaside apartments and see if we can find a few good candidates over there. The place we're going today is called Weihai. It is only one hour's drive from Wushan, but located on the opposite coast of the peninsula. It is a third tier city by Chinese standards. Now, when the comment section of my previous ghost town video, a lot of people say that Wushan doesn't even look like a ghost town, and that by European standards, this would just be a normal small city. Well, for comparison, let's check out the city of Weihai. Some of you might say, Alfred, a city life can be exciting and everything, but I would still much rather live in a quiet place like Wushan. Well, before you draw that conclusion, check out this secret place we found. The busier part of the city is already behind us. Guys, hold your breath, because we are about to go through the tunnel. That sort of the hill looking at those apartment buildings. But then I saw these ones and I was like, aren't these apartments better positioned than those ones? See, you've got all these buildings on the side of the hill. They are arranged in the shape of a fan. It's like how the seats are arranged in the cinema. And over in the distance, the sea, that's the big screen, right? If you think about it in this way, I'm pretty sure this one has got a better view of the sea. So guys, finally we have got inside this apartment. Now it is on the furthest row away from the beach. Actually the direction of this one is not ideal, but the same is true for all these apartments on this side of the mountain. This one has got a northern view of the beach, the sea and a southern view of the mountain. From the southern window, the view, the sunshine is almost completely blocked by the mountain here. It is of course not ideal for getting enough sunshine during the daytime, but if you look down you can see on the slope of the mountain there are some farmers they've built some shares they are growing something that could be something you can do for fun watching them if you live here over here on the north that is the ocean view we have got all these apartment buildings descending down the slope all the way towards the beach so i'm just walking down this peaceful and quiet alleyway in this walled community actually it has kind of a similar vibe to our other apartment back in Rushan. but actually you have the convenience of a city life if you choose to just one tunnel away to the other side of the mountain there is so much action and there are so many people so many cars so here you have the beach you have the quietness but you also have the choice of a exciting city life so do my parents want to stay here this community is designed in a way that each layer goes one step above the previous layer so almost at every turn of the corner you can catch a small glimpse of the sea in the distance. You may think this kind of a fancy holiday resort style would make this place really expensive but actually it's quite cheap so uh, an apartment here would only cost you about 1000 US dollars per square meter whereas the apartments on the other side of the hill could cost you a lot more. And this is not another one of those places where only retired people live, right? Though it may seem quite empty, nobody is around at this time of day. Right now it's about 
3 p.m. But I have seen today quite a few young people and a few kids returning home with their grandparents. So there is a school nearby and just for that I can say the amenities here are much better than that of our other apartment back in Mushan. And also since this place is just one mountain away from the other side, young people can actually have their home here and drive to work. Now, to get around this place, you don't have to always take this main road which zigzags way up and down and takes many detours. There are small walk paths for people. Though I'm half concerned that in winter when the ice is over, it could be trouble for my parents to get around, but these elderly people living here, they seem to be coping with it just fine. We have gone through the tunnel and immediately on the other side of the mountain. It has such good city vibes here, you see the change. Uh, we have just found a restaurant that do these Beijing style lamb spines. I like this food a lot when I'm in Beijing, so let's try it out. Morning guys, we are leaving for Rushan this afternoon and we got this morning to explore the city. I don't know if seeing the city in a Rigi clip would do it justice right. But this city, to my naked eye, it is so clean. It's not just that the air is fresh, because it is a coastal city after all, but the roads under your feet, they are without a dust too. So every now and then you see these sprinklers that pass by and clean the street. And yesterday I actually had my GoPro on the front of the car to take some footage of the streets, uh, but the sprinkler completely destroyed the footage. But I don't blame them. But I don't have anything specific in mind, so let's just explore one of the landmarks of this place. I think we are really close. The tall thing is right over there. And over here on the square, we see some statues of famous musicians. This one is Bach. This one has got to be Beethoven. Well, it turns out there are quite some people here today. Well, so that gate behind me is called the Happiness Gate. That name may sound a bit hilarious, but this honestly is a very well-built theme park of composers, music, and it is a square of relaxation for the local people. And to me, the best music is the sound of these waves pounding on the shore. The waves, the wind, the sunshine, guys, it's so relaxing here. You could just bring a chair here on the shore and doze off for an afternoon. I could totally see my parents doing that. And with any luck, we are gonna sell that old apartment and get a place here. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> All right, guys, it's dusk here on the beach and probably time to end today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.